But um, this morning, as we, we begin to look at, uh, again, viewing the cross, and we're going to look at the, this thought of viewing uh, the cross from before it happened, from before the cross. Uh, I want you to take your Bibles, if you would, and let's go to 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. And uh, we're going to look at verse number 18 to verse number 21. I know that we, we read these passages uh, of Scripture uh, last week when we were dealing with the cross and looking at the cross from the view above uh, as the Father looked down. And, and we went to 1 Peter chapter 1, these exact verses as, as well. And I want to use this uh, passage as, again, a springboard of thought for um, our, our focus this morning in viewing the cross from before uh, the, the time of the cross. And, and I want to look again, as, as the Bible mentions here in 1 Peter chapter 1, it mentions uh, Christ uh, being chosen uh, as the, the sacrifice, God's chosen sacrifice, um, for, even before the foundation of the world. And, uh, and so let's just start reading in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse number 18. We'll read down to verse number 21, then we'll pray. And I, I'm, I've got four areas we're going to look at uh, of, of the picturing of the cross before it ever happened. And four, at least four, about five, some, some, sometimes five individuals uh, that got to see some very specific things concerning God's plan. But starting in, in 1 Peter 1, verse number 18, it says, For as much as ye know that, you're, that, that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by traditions of, uh, from your fathers. By the way, that whole thing of you're not redeemed.